So Elijah is a Y child and he's in our before and after school care. And so uh, it's such a devastating story. On May 15th, he was brought into Mary Washington Hospital without a pulse. And uh, I mean, as the story is unraveling, uh, we, we were told he was beaten and he was beaten so badly that it burst his spleen. And, and again, he, he was brought in basically dead. And so through the efforts of the staff at Mary Washington Hospital, they were able to revive him after about 40 minutes of CPR. And once they stabilized him, I believe they transported him down to MCV, which is where he has been recovering. I mean, it's something that you can it just doesn't let you sleep at night. I mean, it's absolutely devastating. Uh, so, such a young child probably feeling so helpless, and, and it's just the thought of it makes me quiver. So what's, what's next for him, and what's, what's the, well, he's got a long road. He has a long road, but we do believe he is going to recover. So we have uh, you know, reached out to the community. We've had a great response, and we're going to be hosting a fundraiser for him just to help prepare him for this upcoming school year, whether he starts on time or is delayed, just to make sure that that's one of the last things that him or his family need to worry about is, are we going to have the school supplies, you know, back to school shopping, clothes? We're going to make sure they're fully prepared so that he can continue on with his education. So what's the plan here? Because you're going you're gonna to have something here at the water park. Absolutely. We're having a splish splash for Elijah and it's here at the water park. It's this Saturday, the 16th, and it's starting at 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Admission is $10 per person and children, which we're considering 18 and under, are $5 each. And the funds and, and the money raised in this event are going to go to the Elijah Fund. What, what, what a great chance for people oh to not only gosh. see the water park, but to help a family. But to help a family, absolutely. And just to show him, because what he did was show us how courageous he was and how strong he was. And now it's our time to stand up with him and let him know he's not alone and really be there for this child. And so um, we're going to have some video clips of it and hopefully send all the pictures and all of this over to him to let him know that we were all here for him. We're going to have some hula hoop contests and, and then we're going to, when it does start to get dark a little bit, we're going to have some glow sticks and light the night for him. What time will all this take place? So it is, it starts at 7 and it ends at 10 p.m. And we will have, uh, we have, again, had such a great response from the community. So we have plenty of raffles and we may even do a end of the season water park uh, season pass raffle. And This is something, this is something that the Y does. This is something oh. that you're just passionate about, yes. about helping families in the community with the need. Absolutely. This is part of the ATT program. and. And when they, when the PTA staff at his school came to us and asked us if we could help, it was right up our alley. We said absolutely. And I mean, he was a Y child, and and he, you know, I don't really know who he has being his advocate. And I want to let him know not only is the Y his advocate and here for him, but our community is, and we can help raise awareness of child abuse and and stop this here, and and not let another incident like this happen again.